Good timing, Commander. We got a transmission coming in from the Citadel. Top priority clearance. Patch it through. I'll take it in the comm room. Oh shit, yeah, this is, uh, we just unlocked the, um, the fourth, the fourth mission? Commander Shepard, we've received like information that may be critical mission. to your mission against Saren. Good. I'll take all the help I can get. We've received an urgent message from one of our infiltration regiments in the Traverse. Go ahead. I'm listening. We currently have several infiltration units scattered throughout the border regions of Citadel space. This particular unit was gathering intel on Saren. What did they find? Unfortunately, the message we received was little more than static. The infiltration team must be in a situation where they can't set up proper interstellar communications. But the message was sent on a channel reserved for mission critical communications. Whatever they were trying to tell us, we know it was important. Considering your interest in Saren, hmm. we thought you yes, might want to investigate this. Find out what happened to our team. The signal originated from the planet Vermeer. I'll look into it. The Council prefers not to become involved in the specifics of Spectre activities. We only want you to be aware of all your options, including Vermeer. Good luck, Commander Shepard. We will keep you advised if we learn anything else. I like how the, the Turian guy didn't even say a word. He was just like, fuck you. <laughs> Galaxy map? Actually, has Earth been open? I know it's an option. Can we go home? We're sold. I'm pretty sure it's like right over here. I guess I don't have access to it yet. What's over here? Utopia. Any messages? Nope. Bailing out of the uh, the Prothean Sky Tower thingy. If I remember, that's what it is. If not, I'm sorry. I don't remember my lord. It's not my fault. I don't remember everything. I only played this game Commander, six times. Commander, urgent message from Alliance Command coming in. I'll patch it through. Is this Shepard, exactly what I was talking this is about? Packet from Alliance Command. We've got a situation here, and you're the only one that can handle it. What do you need, Admiral? You need? There's an Alliance training ground uh -huh. where we test weapons and technology and live fire simulations. That's exactly what I was just one talking about. One of the VIs about. we use to simulate enemy tactics in the drills is no longer responding to our override commands. It's gone it's rogue. It's gone rogue. Are you telling me this computer is thinking on its own? We're not stupid, Shepard. This is a virtual intelligence, not a true AI. It's not self-aware and it can't access any external systems. We didn't do anything illegal here. So far. Virtual intelligence support is critical to our military success. VIs process thousands of status reports and react in nanoseconds. No human can do that. We need you to fight your way through the training ground of the VI core and manually disable it. Oh, no. Don't worry, Admiral. I'll I take know that Spectre's thing. answered the council, but you're still human. The VI controls all... Ba, 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 ba. Arcadia. Eden. Hey, Eden Prime. That's where the game started. Zion. These are. These are some pretty. Um, these are some pretty holy places. Nirvania, Nirvania, whatever. Xanadu. This whole space collect well, it's called Utopia. I guess it makes sense. I guess so. Aha, there it is. You know, I was literally just talking about it, and you know what? They unlocked it. Like, like hey, hey there, Mr. Mr. Sir. I heard you were talking about this, uh, this quality space cluster. Why don't you check it out? I was like, damn fucking straight. Let's go to the moon. My, the OG team. Zoom. Let's see at the reach.
please let me out Redeploy. of the Mako. So, from what I remember in one of the Mass Effects, they mentioned that if you throw a grenade in space, it'll keep flying forever. So if I throw a grenade towards Earth, it'll keep flying till it hits Earth and then creates a massive explosion that's going to destroy the world. Rest in fucking peace, Earth. Oh. Well, I guess uh, Earth atmosphere is too good. It's too strong. My grenades can't handle. Oh, where did <laughs> where did my my Earth go? Please let me hurt you. I think I have to destroy all the... If not, then, uh... Shit. I fucked up. So, I was looking up some books to buy, because I have to replace my... Mass Effect Ascension book because I I think I lent it out but never got it returned or something like that I don't know it was a while back but yeah so I was looking up stuff for it and um, apparently they never re-released the Mass Effect Ascension uh, Deception the fourth book the the horrendous fourth book that never Never should have, never should have uh, been written in such a horrid way. Like, why would you give a random stranger all the um, all the thingies to your IPs? Please. I'm only a humble man. Please switch weapons. I'm such a humble man. Damn. That's it. Bag him and tag him. You were dead, okay. Can't tell me. I guess I don't have to destroy all the power, uh, power junctions because it's not giving me any notifications for damaging them. I think it's only the four in the back. Yeah, the one with... Okay, I don't have to destroy the power junction. Only those exclamation points in the other room. Get all nice and healed up for my comrade.
think I've modded this to be super damaged. Which means basically overheat for days. Might as well just use the assault rifle. Yay! Two more to go. So yeah, and apparently they didn't, um, cause this, this book was released in 2013, and it, it was literally the worst book they released for the Mass Effect, uh, the Mass Effect series. It had lore issues, it had grammar issues, it had spelling issues. It was generally just like, why? And it's, it was like written by a guy who, who never even played a Mass Effect game, or it's assumed he never played a Mass Effect game because he did not know the lore for shit. Like, stuff that you just have to play a game to know he didn't know. And it was just like, I, I read this, like the reviews about it, and I was just like, I'm not buying this until they fix it. And then, you know, they, they said they would fix it. You know, they, they're like, yeah, yeah, we, we understand uh, the the problems everyone has, we'll fix it, we'll, we'll do it, blah, 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 and here we are three years later, and the book is not been rewritten, which is kind of, kind of bad, because it was, I guess, the closure to the the series that was going on and they didn't um, rewrite it I mean I was hoping at one point like maybe like a fan would just pick it up and be like all right this is this is the story he wrote and this is the grammar fixes and the lore fixes and the chronological fixes oh shit no oh, no I almost died again. Yeah, but like the books were really great. Like up to book three, it was a really great story. I just don't know why they changed the author. Like, the guy know, knew what he was doing. He wrote really good books and they changed it. It was the same thing for the Dragon Age books. Like David Gator wrote four of the books and then they changed it to a different author. And the it wasn't a, like, in my opinion, the, the new author who wrote the if Dragon Age book wasn't a bad author, or fourth, I don't remember. I could literally look at my bookshelf if I wanted to, but too busy playing the game. But the the author that wrote the fourth book wasn't a bad author. Like the book was good. It was just too predictable. It was like one of those things where it's like, oh, this thing is gone. Uh, ignore, ignore this thing because it's it's gone. And we're gonna mention it through the entire book because there isn't gonna be a total big huge plot hole at the end. And then you get to the end, you're like, well, it's just, it, I, I seen this coming because obviously, why would they mention this thing at all if if they weren't gonna change that? So yeah, it was just like one of those things. It's like, ugh, why? <laughs> but like, it was a good book. It was just like a little bit all, all over the place. It was good to get some backstory on a specific group of people, uh, the Grey Wardens. Like, how the Grey Wardens were before, before, before. Like, when they were uh, seen as, like, that group of people that's, like, not heroes, but are, like, literally, like, saving everybody's lives. So they had to, like, gather an army to save the world, because the world was going to shit. Damn it. I'm gonna miss this 
one. I'm gonna miss one. Uh, no. Well, shit. I fucked up. Still got that sick camel armor though. I hope this is the next one. No, I think it's that one. Damn, I don't even remember. It's gonna be so embarrassing, people are gonna call me a noob. Okay, I think it's good. Yep. Everything's peachy. Gotta get me my currency. Damn it. Ooh, that was close. I think it was like 40... point 40 seconds. <laughs> or point 40 milliseconds since it wasn't even a full second. Hit, but no kill. I don't think there's any achievement for using Unity, but I might as well use it. I mean, that's sk it. Bag him and tag. skill that's gonna recharge anyway. Okay. Okay. I just... I literally just died, and I'm gonna have to redo the whole thing. Yeah, I'm gonna skip ahead. So, be right back. Yay! Let me quick save. Guess that means it's safe, right? I'm going hard.
We're good. We good. Good. Perimeter secure. Specialization. <clears throat> I should have read the other thing. Your specialization class will replace your base class in the talents on squad screen. Talent ranks in your base class will transfer over to your specialization. Go to squad, select a bonus gate. And... Okay, my two options are shock trooper or commando. Shock trooper, highly trained killing machine. Shock troopers exceed in all combat situations. Increases health, increases damage protection, increases the immunity or barrier ability and it improves the bear, uh, adrenaline ability. Commando. Commando rely on lethal efficiency and precise strikes rather than brute force to eliminate their opponents. Increases all damage by all weapons. Increase, uh, improves the immunity, marksman, and assassination ability. So we need more health and damage protection. So we're going to go shock troop. And let's level up. So we got this. Look at that health. That's some mighty fine health. And yeah, just keep going up a bit more for shock troop. Caden, forgot about you. Advanced first aid. Ah, uh, actually undo. I'm getting Garrus to do that, and I still have yet to look up to see whether or not they stack, so just keep it as it is. Bring up your barrier. Garrus. Garrus, Garrus, Garrus. Oh, this is actually just good for any character with electronics, more shields. Garrus's armor. Yeah, actually, he has both. He has both, so both are good. Let's just max out his uh, tactical armor. That all? Perimeter secured. All right. Let's head on out. <laughs>